What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me today in another video. Today we are here at Motor Cars of Georgia and we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 McLaren 720S. This is the latest submission from McLaren Automotive into their Super Series, except this particular 720S isn't your traditional vehicle. This one has received full customization from McLaren Special Operations, also known as MSO for short. MSO is a special division of McLaren Automotive who specializes in full customization of vehicles from interior details to a fully bespoke paintwork. And speaking of bespoke paintwork, this particular 720S is finished in a beautiful volcano orange and features a velocity spec fade into Norella Red. This is nearly an $80,000 paint option, making this car truly unique. So today, let's go through some of the interior and exterior details of this McLaren 720S and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. Let's start off the review by focusing on the exterior design characteristics of the 720S. Taking a look, one of the first things you notice is that this is a very clean and simplistic design, yet it's very curvaceous at the same time. And one of my favorite features is that the design is very functional without looking too busy with a bunch of unnecessary slits or canards. In fact, the 720S provides up to 50% more downforce than the outgoing 650S. The designers at McLaren Automotive were strongly influenced by the Great White Shark. And if you take a second and just look at this car's design, that's exactly what it looks like. Taking a look at the front, you'll notice the 720S features LED matrix headlamps. Now this is a very intuitive design because the headlight housing also functions as an air vent. Air comes directly into this air vent and is fed directly into the radiator that sits in front of the wheels. Now, I wanna make mention that this particular car features the Carbon Fiber Pack 3, which means your headlamp housings are a carbon fiber instead of a palladium gray. Coming lower, the front splitter is also finished in carbon fiber, which is part of the Carbon Fiber Pack 2. The options on this car were extremely well done. It looks like every box was practically checked off. Taking a look at the side profile, one of the most notable changes when compared to the 650S is that the visible side air vents of the 650S are now gone. Instead, the 720S incorporates a hidden channel within the door panel that channels air directly into the radiator and engine bay, thus helping provide a nice clean exterior design. Taking a look at the rear of the 720S, you will notice there's a large active rear spoiler which provides up to 30% more downforce than the spoiler found on the 650S. It also doubles as an air brake. Taking it a step lower, you have your exhaust with a very open design, which has been strongly influenced by the 675 LT. Now in this particular vehicle, the exhaust has been featured with the Stealth package, which provides a nice black finish, which provides a more aggressive appeal. Lower, you have a carbon fiber rear bumper, which is part of the carbon fiber two package as well. Since we're focusing on the rear of the 720S, let's go ahead and talk about the power plant. And if you're familiar with this vehicle, then you know I can't open up the engine bay. So let's just talk about some of the details of the engine. The 720S features a rear mid-mounted 4-liter twin turbocharged V8, which produces 710 brake horsepower or 720 metric horsepower at the engine speed of 7,250 RPM. It also produces 568 pound-foot of torque at the engine speed of 5,500 RPM. Now this engine does feature a dry sump lubrication system as well, and is connected to a seven-speed dual clutch transmission. Your zero to 60 time is 2.8 seconds, and it has a top speed of 212 miles per hour. Now this four liter twin turbocharged V8 is connected to a sports exhaust system. So let's have a listen to it. That sport exhaust system sounded amazing, right? So now that we've covered some of the exterior details and details regarding the power plant, let's talk about some of the structural details of the 720S. The 720S features the carbon fiber monocage 2, which is a single piece carbon fiber tub 
that goes around the windshield, the roof, and over the engine bay. The carbon fiber Monarch H2 gives the 720S a significant performance advantage, meaning that it's extremely lightweight, you have an extremely rigid ride, which translates into precision handling. The carbon fiber Monarch H2 has allowed the rear pillars of the 720S to be so thin, it's able to incorporate glass into the design. Now, when sitting inside the 720S, this provides virtually a 360 degree unobstructed view in a sports car, which is rare. Taking it a step further, the 720S features proactive chassis control too, which uses an array of sensors all over the vehicle, which reads the road and creates subtle adjustments, allowing the driver to have maximized grip at all times, thus allowing the driver to push the envelope of this vehicle that much more. Speaking of grip, let's talk about the wheel, tire, and brake setup of this particular McLaren 720S. This McLaren 720S features the 10 spoke, super lightweight forged wheels that are diamond cut with a satin finish. They feature a staggered setup, 19 inches up front, 20 inches in the rear. They're shot in Pirelli P0s that are 245 up front and 305 in the rear. Now, naturally, the 720S features carbon ceramic brake rotors, but it's important to note that they're not any larger than the rotors found on the 650S, and McLaren did this to keep the unsprung mass to a minimum. And speaking of unsprung mass, we define unsprung mass as the mass of the wheels, tires, brakes, and other suspension components of a vehicle. It's extremely important to keep the unsprung mass on a high performance vehicle such as the 720S to a minimum. And the reasoning behind that is this, bumps and surface imperfections in the road will result in tire flex, thus placing a force on the unsprung mass. The unsprung mass will then respond with a force of its own. Now the amount of movement due to bumps and surface imperfections in the road is inversely proportional to the vehicle's unsprung mass. In other words, the lighter the setup, the more grip and constant grip the vehicle will have. If you have a heavier setup on a vehicle such as the 720S, you could experience wheel hop during heavy braking and heavy acceleration. The second you sit in the 720S, you know exactly what this car is about. Everything on this car's interior is covered in lightweight materials. For example, the top of the dash is covered in Alcantara. You have carbon fiber surrounds for your air conditioning system and carbon fiber all throughout the center console. And speaking of the center console, you have a large screen, which is used to practically control all of the vehicle's features as well. You have knobs here to switch between the different driving modes available in the 720S. And then coming further down, you have an engine start stop button. And then of course, buttons for drive, neutral and reverse. Coming towards the steering wheel, it feels fairly thin in my hands. It's covered in Alcantara and features dry carbon fiber accents as well. Behind the steering wheel sits a display system. Now there are two modes for the display system. If you're daily driving this car, there's the standard mode, which displays all the information you would need to know when driving this car on a daily basis. And then there's a track mode, which only displays the bare minimum information you would need to know while driving this car on a track. That's a pretty nice touch and probably my favorite feature of this interior. Coming over to your door panels, they're covered in Alcantara. They feature carbon fiber accents and then controls for your windows. And I really love the McLaren dihedral doors. They're just so cool looking and they really make ingress and egress out of this car extremely easy. My second favorite feature of this interior is that 360 degree view we mentioned earlier in the review. And that's thanks to that carbon fiber Monarch H2 McLaren has implemented in the 720S. The carbon fiber Monarch H2 has allowed for McLaren to place extremely thin pillars inside the vehicle, thus allowing for additional glass, providing that 360 degree view that is virtually unobstructed. That was a brief overview of this beautiful Velocity Spec McLaren 720S. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this particular car. I've completely fallen in love with this vehicle and this short time I spent with it. I would like to give a special thanks to Motorcars of Georgia for having me out to review this special edition McLaren 720S. If you're interested in this vehicle or any other exotic model, please be sure to reach out to my friend Grant. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.